Alright, so welcome back everybody to some more Octopath Traveler. I said I kind of didn't want to play this today, but since I didn't really get to do as much as I wanted to yesterday, because I was somewhat waylaid, if I turn this down, then maybe it shouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to be more mindful of my volume because I'm kind of in a bit bigger of a space now. So I don't want to have, you know, as much uh, loudness anymore. I know it's a, it's, it's a bit weird because I'm, I'm just still getting used to it and whatever. But anyway, I was stealing stuff from people while I was waiting for a rendering to finish so I could start this session. And I happened upon this fellow. You see. And so you, want, you might wonder what's special about this guy. Well, if you try to steal from him, he has absolute garbage. However, the success rate for said garbage is incredibly low. I don't know. Fuck me. Figure that out. He's apparently... He's the one dude that actually has, like, zippers and shit on his pockets. It's incredible, because then I go over to this guy, and I just literally rob everything off of him. I don't know. That That's just weird. I, I don't want... I don't know. Now, anyway, this has basically been my life. I haven't really gone back to old places, like the initial starting towns to steal stuff. Because I feel like most of the stuff there is going to be kind of garbage. You can't steal from the dog? All right. Greetings. But yeah, I, I haven't gone back there to steal from people. Like, you see, here we go. Now, you see, this is something that's ridiculously good to steal, but I won't be able to take it now without save scrubbing. And I really don't want to do that. It's only good for so many times, and after a point, I'm just like, I don't want to save scrub. That That's just a, that's just time killing. So we could technically do Cyrus's Chapter 4 right now. However... Did I steal from everyone in Victor's Hollow? I don't think I did. I don't want to do Cyrus's Chapter 4 just yet. Namely because I want to catch everyone else up a bit more. Did I steal from these people? Yeah, see. I think I'm going to have to start using the nuts as well. Eventually, though. Uh, I, I don't want to use them just yet. It's not like they're going anywhere anyway. It's not like I really need to use them. So we can hold off on that. What the hell? Okay. Let's see what this guy has. Knight sword. This is good because if I ever want to level up anyone else, I don't have to, uh... This guy is definitely part of a side quest, by the way. Uh, this is good because if I want to level up anyone else or give them better gear, I won't have to buy it. I could just probably just grab it from a bunch of stuff. But anyway... Steal from here. There is one other shrine I did find. Um, there's basically secret classes in this game that have shrines that are actual dungeons. A hairbrush. So what I'm planning on doing, and I bet that uh, Cyrus's story will take me out to the left there. Or uh, not Cyrus's, uh, Tressa's story. Is I'm going to... Basically, I, I can attempt it now. Shrine of the Archmagus. But... Magus. 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 Um, I think I'll attempt it, actually. I think I'll give it a whirl. I should probably buy a couple extra Inspiriting Plums, though. Since I didn't pilfer out the old areas, and I kind of have used almost all of them, I should just buy a couple just to round out my inventory. Let's see. Hopefully I won't have to buy any more for quite some time. To be fair, I didn't sell anything that I stole. I'm trying to avoid doing that at least for the time being, just because I really don't want to, uh... If, I, if there's something I see and I feel like I need it more than a couple Inspiriting Plums, then I definitely want to be able to buy that, as opposed to, oh, well, you bought a bunch of Inspiriting Plums after stealing all this stuff. I, I think I can go without. I think I'll be fine, irregardless. But yeah, this is a place I found while I was grinding on this route. And of course, jump. I've done my research on of course, now these enemies aren't nearly as ridiculous as they were. Was I recording and rendering? No, okay, good. 
I almost had a heart attack for a minute. Yeah, we're, we're much better off for the, these enemies. Although they are probably still pretty tough, yeah. See, now they hit appropriately. Before, they used to, they would have killed her with that before. Uh, slash. I love how you missed that. Thank you. I am kind of a little sad that I did take off some HP from Cyrus. But I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. Therian's gonna break him, so we'll strut. Try to get him to get the easy kill. Actually, he can do this again. I bought everyone a couple new pieces of gear, including a few primeval robes, which are really good for everyone. So that's basically what I did with most of my money that I earned from doing other stuff. This guy can, I think, yeah, blind people. I think he can also put people to sleep, maybe? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's incredibly easy to break. Of course, we'll get in this cave, and then the cave enemies will kick my ass, which is going to be just amazing. Somehow, though, because my thing is, when I was here before, they were very easy. They were easier than these enemies that I'm fighting right now. These enemies inside this shrine are pretty weak, but I didn't challenge the boss, because at the time, I was only, like, level 38, level 40. So, now what I'll do is, this is where I made my save a while back, I think. The one for file 2, at least. So I already went to the left. I didn't fully explore the cave, so maybe I'll like, fully explore it now. I think I already went down there. I probably did now that I said that. Here we go. 20,000, okay. Light beaming down on the chest, and it has 20,000. Well, maybe I should have grabbed it earlier, because it would have helped. There's two treasure chests here. And yes, the battle theme is different for these uh, areas now. I'm gonna incite. Yeah, good thing I did that. We to oh, fuck off. Let's do... There's two things I can do here. I could heal, and then she'll overheal. I'm gonna shackle him. Well, Have her overheal. Let's just see what he's weak to. Swords. Even shackled, that's how much he deals normally. no other magic that he can be weak to, so unfortunately this is all I can do to him. We're just gonna end up building BP here. Need to have him use slightly amp first aid. I also need to use leg hold. In the turn after that, he asks to use um, Insight again. Okay. So now, on this next turn, I should break him, 
she can lion's dance, and then she can strut. Okay, that's easy. Ideally, I'm hoping to kill him here. Right? He can brave this once. Yeah. Okay. He can use cross strike. Watch my blade dance. I'll do my best. Lion stance. Oh, there's nothing to see. Fuck this guy. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't going to do nearly as close as I wanted it to. Shackle him. Next time around, since it looks like he's going to survive this round, I'm going to... Armor break him. Same shit as usual. Gotta be low. He's, he's really gotta be like maybe around, I don't know, 3,000. Excellent. Well, at least he has a better chance hitting him. But yeah, I said this last part, it, I really don't like the way they organize the skills in this game. I think they just kind of end up being useless. Like, why does a merchant have the ability to use wind magic and only the merchant? Like, the scholars at Noble Court, or not, not Noble Court, I'm sorry, at Atlas Dam are just like, oh, fuck it. We don't care. We don't give a flying fuck, dude. Whatever. We'll just make it so that way and there's not really much she can do here besides miss. Oh, fuck it. We're just not going to study wind magic at all. Uh, we don't give a shit. Like, why? It's it's the same thing I said about Exilia. I'm probably running into the ground at this point, but it's something that annoys me greatly about a lot of JRPGs. I don't know why they insist on doing this a lot of times. Oh, yeah, that, that character who's supposed to be, like, this really all-knowing, like, sort of magician. Oh, yeah, fuck it. He doesn't know all magic. He's like, but that's not the point of Maxwell. This is in your own lore. Like, what? Alright, well, he's done. Like, who the fuck even thinks of this shit? Okay, good. He leveled up. I don't know. That, that was one thing I was like, yeah, Tails... You, you, I love Tails. I think Tails is really a nice driving force for JRPGs because they do a lot of really great shit. But at the same token... I'm going to go over there and get that. By the same token, that was one thing that was like... You could have found ways to make Rowan, who was the character they gave Water and Earth to, you could have found ways to make him good that didn't involve nerfing another character. Namely, one of the main characters. Uh, we'll give this him. I, there's another one of those I could have stolen for 300. However, um, I didn't do that. I know, that's a, a shocking twist in the story, is it not? Well, we'll give this boss a go. I don't, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. We'll give it a whirl. Of course, so I... I'm tempted to reload, honestly, because I don't want to have to fight these guys right before I'm about to go into a boss fight. I'm really tempted to fucking reload that. Because I'm going to have to waste no resources. I just want to get to the boss fight. Oh, I remember these guys. These guys are actually more difficult than the big dude. Did I fight? No, I fought an ice version of these remnants. I think they are weak to axe. Yeah, they are. I think they're in here. I think they're more towards the entrance. I haven't seen them this deep. Alright, whatever. I 
I'm not going to use Insight, because Insight is going to get him killed here. Warming up here, I'm gonna try to break them all at once next turn. Actually, we can do a nice level slash here. I always go into fucking cleric skills when I really don't need to. Outside of heal more, I don't really use anything in that toolkit, pretty much. I will cut you down! Scorch and burn! Body armor up there. It's not nearly as cool sounding as Scorch and Burn. Okay. Uh, you think they'll survive another turn? Fuck it, I'm going all in. Great! Yeah! Yeah, only bosses survive that much when they're red. So that's fine. Let's see. Well, I gotta restore even more SP. The good news is if I die, there's a good chance that I won't have to fight them again when I respawn. Because you know I'm not gonna beat this on the first attempt. A voice echoes in your head. Hail, Traveler. I am Draysang, the Archmages. Maybe it is Archmagus, I don't know. Thou wouldst learn the lost secrets I hold? Then first, thou must prove thy worth. In a complete twist from the other stuff. Okay, well at least they give you the option to retreat. Well, we just saved, so we'll fight it. Oh, it's Ramu! Okay, it started to do more damage. Oh, okay, well, that was fun. Very good. So randomly, once he starts Might of the Arch Magus, it does way more fucking damage. Because he literally depletes your fucking bar. Well, that was enjoyable. I'm gonna give it one more go. <laughs> one more go. I will not fail. That does kind of suck, to be honest, because I was probably, like, maybe I want to say over halfway. So we know that he's going to remove any buff. There's no way to stop that. There's literally no way to prevent him from doing that. So basically, if I fuck up overhealing, we're pretty much screwed. And there's no way to prevent him from putting that debuff on us, because it goes through Rehabilitate. Axe and Thunder. Which Let's see. It's possible I might need to make a strategy completely based around Ulbrick. Victory shall be mine. Hitting him for the damage cap every time. Because the longer the fight goes on, the less chance I have of winning. I mean, that's any fight, for the most part. There's nothing you can really do unless I use Spearhead. But the better version of Spearhead... Would, this, would Spearhead let me get in the... Yeah, it would. Okay. So now I'm gonna leg hole trap him. The battle is truly joined. And snare them! This is pretty fuck. that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's a- that's a fair amount. I'm a corrosive. What is the logical course of action? Let's see. It's a lightning. I- do- do I want to break him this turn is the real question. 
Because if I break him this turn, no one can boost. She has to heal next turn. He has no BP. No one has any BP because we spent it all to begin with. It's this is it's it's a tight situation, honestly. Because like I, if I okay, here's what I'll do. I'll hit him once. Barely an overheal, but it's an overheal. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there's not really much I can do. I can have Cyrus boost, and we just basically spend the whole fight feeding Ulbrich. See, what sucked is that everyone died at the same time. That's that's the main problem. Yeah, you know what? Ah, uh, fuck. Him. He has to be weak to swords as well, by the way. Nothing really to steal, so we'll use amputate. Not be defeated. Nah, might as well. I might need to put Hale and Hardy on people just to give them extra health. I need I need Ophelia to have as much health as possible. Here. Nor do I have any real choice here. I don't even know if I want to waste anything this time around. He's gonna move immediately because we broke him. So I think what the strategy might need to be is that I have to break him as soon as possible, basically after he changes his elements. Because if I don't, I'm going to be screwed because he's going to hit for like 3,000 on a single turn. So I, I really don't have much of a choice. I have to break him as often as I can. Yeah, this was a waste. We're all out of whack here. I just need to uncover as many of his weaknesses in the first part of this fight, so when he shuffles them like this, I know what he's weak to. He only attacks once, once you break him. So I need to work that in my favor. I'll do my best. Which means that I, I can't boost too much with her. And I'm going to need to use probably soul stones to help break him faster. So like right now, this is easy because Cyrus can hit one of his elements. I could have him brave, but I don't want... I keep calling him brave. Like, I'm not going to do that. Because he needs to leg hold him this turn as well. But I do need to... Not yet, but once he casts Might of the Archmages, I need to break him every turn. I have no choice. I will die otherwise. So we already know he's weak to light. It's not dark, so it has to be wind. But there's no point for Cyrus to do that. Out of my way. So we'll have him. How many wind items do I have? Oh, I don't have nearly as many soul stones as I thought I did. Ugh. It's probably not even worth it. We know what he's weak to. Yeah, we know what he's weak to, so I'm just gonna armor uh, corrosive him. I see. Victory shall be mine. Just to keep that debuff going. Okay. We'll build up this extra. Uh, 
Amputate, maybe? He does a pretty decent amount of damage with Amputate. Yeah, if you fully boost it. Yeah, I'm gonna try this strategy. I think this will work. So we know he's weak to win, so she can't really do anything here. We'll just have her holy light. It's 517 health he doesn't have anymore. Alright, so now we're at cruising altitude here. So we know he's weak to wind, light. Uh, we've already done spears, axes. Maybe he's weak to swords? No, I've hit him with swords at this point. No, it's not wind? Oh, so he is... Okay, he's weak to dark now. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm an idiot. That, that was a waste of a turn. Shit, it's this setup again. Maybe he has set setups. Have we done daggers yet? Victory shall be mine. He has to light hold trap him. And snare them. We're not at that part yet, but we're getting there. This is like the one thing I can't do because no one else besides Ophelia can hit for dark and, and light. That's the one problem, is that no one else can do what she needs to do. And she can't hit multiple times with these elements. Let's see. I don't want to share. Actually, I do need to share. Keep it up. Yeah, see, now that he got the SP boost, he's doing, he's really good for that. Alright, well. Might as well. He can't do anything. But, oh, yeah, it's this setup again. Yeah, it's the same shit as before. Well, it's, this is not hard to break. It's just annoying. And it's completely chance-based. Because you can't really influence it that much. Yeah, I know she's floating on BP, but... Uh... Jeez, man. Fuck. He can't hit anything anyway. But we're supposed to break him this turn anyway, so maybe he should use Armor Corrosive. Four turns? No, we'll break him this turn. So he'll hit he'll put it on him for three. That's all we need. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Cyrus can heal us. They don't have big healing. No, we really don't. I mean that's not awful. That was also kind of a mistake because it overheals her. I'm really praying Ulbrich gets this off. Let's see. Oh, come the fuck on. Whatever. We get another turn. As long as we don't die here, we're fine. Oh, he's already using it. Oh, no. That, that's, that's the normal version. Okay. That's not Will the Archmages. Okay. I have to put on another round of armor kudos too, because it'll run off. If I defend, they'll move first. Or I could just put damage on the board, because I'm not doing anything else anyway with him. So I might as well. It's shitty. You can't even hurt the boss until you break him. You legitimately can do nothing until you break him. Yeah, I'm not getting anything off this time around, unfortunately. I mean, I'll get Brand's Thunder. But that's about it. My turn. 
And he also needs to be light hold trapped. He's gonna, he was gonna move anyway, but he needs to be light hold again. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no point in her doing anything besides healing this turn. Just to get everyone up. Or, well, not everyone, but, you know, namely herself. All unknown elements. Okay. So what hasn't worked so far? Wind? Daggers? Fuck if I know. I think that's what the whole point of this first part of the fight is, is figuring out his weakness and then working with it. So we already did light and dark. Maybe fire? Maybe I should just boost with Cyrus and just find out, as opposed to taking turns guessing. I'm gonna have her fully heal herself and old brick. There you go. Fine. So Cyrus only needs to boost twice to figure both out. There we go. Fire with uh, daggers, fire and blizzard. Okay. So he has to light hold trap. And snare them. Okay. So now we just got to go all out trying to hit this motherfucker and hit all his weaknesses. So anyone who can't hit him normally is going to use the Soul Stone. Because we got... Okay, and then the debuff will run out next turn. So if I can wait a turn... I should break him next turn. Because then Ophelia can uh, Peacock Strut for Cyrus. And then the turn after that, depending on the order, she can Lion's Dance for him. Maybe? Take that! I appreciate it. Really? What is the logical course of action? Okay, same. Doesn't matter which one, I just like the way Blizzard looks. No. There's nothing he can do. He kinda just has to look pretty, I guess. I don't know. He would have to use an item. Oh well fuck, now he's using it. Okay, but the good news is he didn't fully attack this turn. So now we're under the Might of the Arch matches. So we can buff. The problem is we need to break him this turn, and we need to break him every turn hereafter just to make sure we stay ahead. That's, that's my primary goal right now, is to make sure he essentially never moves again for the whole fight. Have a taste of this! Because he boosts himself and lowers... Okay, I see why that was so lethal. He boosts himself and he lowers his own resistance. So, for her... Does she need to do... No, I'll have her heal and then... Uh... Actually, no, I'm going to have her Lion Dance, right? Yeah, because she won't get to move again. And then he's going to hit twice with whatever. Therion won't get to move fast enough to armor Corrosive, sadly. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Ah, shit. He won't be able to brand Thunder. Fuck me. No, but this is the only turn I have to deal damage. I have to fucking attack him. Otherwise, I'm just stalling for no reason. I, I really have almost no choice. Well, might as well use something he's weak to. This is the only turn I have to deal damage. Cyrus, or this dude's turn has to be used to heal Cyrus. So he doesn't die. Actually, I could have just had her use an item. Fuck. This is tough. This is the really the first fucking fight in the game that I'm really having problems with. And it's optional, too. So I refuse to have her die. Yeah, see, it's fucking brutal. 
So he's the only person who can leg hold crap, which is why I'm having him fully leg hold this motherfucker, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. She has to heal him. I'll have her heal him with an item, and then right before this dude attacks again, boost everyone into ridiculous numbers. So what we'll do here is it's swords, right? I don't want to use too much. Alright, what did I say? Heal him with an item? Yeah. Okay, as long as we can survive every turn he uses Archmages, we should be fine. We should be okay. The battle is truly joined. Survive one turn. Okay, it's already gone actually, unless he reapplies it every turn. Way. Which is actually not awful. If you can survive the three turns it's up, it's fine. But if you don't know what it does, you're fucked. So here. This what? So store is what? 500? I think? Maybe I should give everyone BP. Okay, so after this turn, I'll have Therion give everyone BP back. Using uh, one of the pomegranates. Okay. Yeah, otherwise this doesn't do anything. It just does normal damage. Normal for what we've come to expect. The problem is you also can't attack your teammates. If I could attack my teammates, I could lower them below their boosted amount, which would allow them to then survive stuff that they uh, would otherwise die from once I heal them back up. Because I can't overheal Ophelia anymore. So her having this much elemental defense actually has kind of fucked me. So I'm in a position where I can't really do much. Now I could have him break him, and the next turn, fucking no, that won't work. Because, shit. Okay, here's what we'll do. I see. What is the logical course of action? Merchant. Uh, not merchant, so I'm sorry. Lightning blast. Uh, I feel like I have to boost this, but I'm not going to. How about you? Fuck. Maybe I should have boosted it. Okay, he's gonna hit us this turn. Even if he hits us for Will of the Archmage, or Might of the Archmages, he won't kill us, I don't think. So maybe I should just let him hit us this turn. Everyone gains a BP point, and then that way, next turn, we can break him and everything. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So the question is, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna have him give everyone what is a single ally. Uh... I'm gonna have him eat one of these for himself. We just need to survive this turn. Oh, he didn't use Will. He used uh, Divine Majesty. Okay, well that doesn't help at all. That absolutely doesn't help. Okay. What is the logical course of action? No, we're gonna move next turn. But, yeah, but there's no point. I might as well put myself on BP overload this turn, so next turn I can rest. Next turn I can at least be on the already on the downturn. I'm scared that Ophelia is gonna fucking die, though, is the problem. I'm really scared she's gonna die. Well, I have next turn to figure that out. So, fuck it. We're gonna die to some really dumb shit, I already know. I can see that one coming. Out of my way. 
Ah, might as well have him stab twice. Okay, it's this setup which I hate. This setup is annoying. This setup is annoying because really no one can hit his weakness is the problem. So we have Shadow Stones. A gift for you, okay. So we'll keep up armor corrosive at the bare minimum since we're going to be hitting him physically. And it's literally all up to fucking Ulbrich. I'm going to use Rain of Arrows because there's only one, one enemy. But it seems like it misses more. I don't know. It's just, the fact that that shit misses so fucking much is the annoying part. We're gonna have to leg hold him next turn. Maybe I should leg hold him this turn and try to withstand whatever he's about to throw at me. Actually, Cyrus can attack. What the fuck am I saying? He's a merchant. He doesn't need to use anything, he just needs to break him. Okay, well that was stupid of me. I completely forgot that he had bows because I've literally never used them. Now I don't want to give him all of his SP. He needs some. No. If I don't leg hold him this turn and break him next turn, he's not... Well, actually, that works, because he's going to move first the turn he recovers from break anyway, so I'm okay with this. Support. Okay, well, it, if you would hit him, this wouldn't happen. Oh, okay, here we go. I think they're, they're a little bit fair in that aspect. He won't just randomly fuck you over. Like, he won't use Will of the Archmage, or Might of the Archmages, and then literally defeat you on the same turn. He at least gives you a turn to prep for the inevitable. So, that's that's a, that's fair. I'm, I'm not going to deny that. But, unfortunately, my only choice is to break him with Therion. Take this! How about you? He's armor corrosive this turn, and Therion won't move fast enough, so I have to use Brand's Thunder this turn. I have no choice on that. He's weak to light. Uh, but she needs to boost, so she can never attack, really. She always has to be on the defensive. Cyrus, I won't boost just so he can get that extra boost. I'll boost him next turn. Cross strike. Yeah, because he's gonna move. So yeah, it's either this turn or next turn. While he's broken, I might as well hit him. Yeah, that way, next turn, he'll only have one turn's worth of attacking us with, the uh, heavy magic. We're actually good here. Oh, we're getting him weak, too. Good, good, good. Alright, so we just need to not fuck up and keep this up, and then we'll be alright. Although, given his health pool, that's a fuck ton anyway, so... Who knows, am I gonna get cocky yet? I'll get cocky after I've beaten him, how about that? Yeah, we can't take two of those in a turn. That shit is rough. Okay. So the Great Bunch does 900, right? That won't boost anyone. So I think I'm okay. Who can use it? Because everyone here, he has to leg hold him. So he can't be the one that heals us. Therion is the only person who can hit with daggers twice. So, oh, and Ophelia can't do that. So no matter what this turn, I'm kind of at a loss. So I'm going to have Ophelia heal us, and then have her heal with overheal next turn. This will be simple. Okay. I appreciate it. Really. That's fine. 
Uh, yeah, she has to be the one to do it. That's not- Oh, fuck it over- I, I was only looking at fucking Therion, I forgot about her. She'll survive one one of those moves while we can, but everyone else, as long as everyone else can survive, she can die, she still has her auto-res, so that's not awful. He has to like her money. Maybe I'll have Cyrus donate BP at one point. Same shit. Okay, ideally we need to break him this turn. So we have four guaranteed hits. No, we can't break him this turn. I just realized it's impossible. So I'm gonna like hold him again. It actually wasn't impossible? Oh fuck, it wasn't impossible. Shit. Well, she might die this turn. If she does, she has her auto res. I'm hoping she does not. I appreciate I'm hoping he casts uh, whatever it's called, the debuff on us, the debuff thing. So I'm gonna overboost the fuck out of us. Yeah, it wasn't it, it wasn't impossible if I had her attack and then him also use a soul stone. But because I didn't see that opportunity, I didn't do it. I mean, it's fine because next turn, as long as no one dies and picks. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ah, oh, this will be good. Nice. All right. Yeah. I'm feeling that. So he needs to be broken. Therion will put on. Oh fuck. He has to get broken every turn now. There, there's no fucking around here. But he won't. Oh, if I break him now, unless Ulbrick won't be able to use Brand's Thunder, which is what I need him to hit with. But surviving is more important than that. Hmm. I, I have to break him this turn. He's, he's too dangerous to let him move twice and not have to shuffle his weaknesses. It's way too dangerous. Maybe Therion. Oh, but he has to put up the armor shit. She has to heal herself. This help. Okay, and the next turn I'll have her overboost. So Therion has to put up the armor shit. Maybe what I'll have... Does he have to? Yeah, because otherwise that does like an extra 50% just for having it up. Oh, but he doesn't have enough TP SP anyway. I'm really fucked. I just I, I have no choice. Fuck this. Okay. Keep it up. Obviously he can't use Brand's Thunder this turn, so. Okay. There we go. It is what it is. I have no choice. It's unfortunate. But this is the only uh, ability I have that really deals good damage to him. So I, I just simply have no choice. There's no there's no other word to say about it. Well then. More. Alright, we're in good position here because everyone gets a nice heal more up. It looks like his Archmage's buff faded as well, which is good. He's gonna shift his elements, and then he's gonna do probably something else. Okay. That, that wasn't too bad. I'll have her use a lightning soul stone, because I know he's weak to wind, but I there's no one who can hit wind who isn't Cyrus. So maybe I'll have Therion just go a little hand here. Get him down. Where is it? The, uh... Lightning? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're gonna break him this turn. Which is fine. She Oh, she moved again first? What the fuck? Hmm. So I'm actually ahead for one for one turn basically this time around. So I'm trying to think. 
Because Ulbrich, if I wait a turn, he'll be able to use Brand's Thunder at full power. So maybe I should Lion's Dance. Cyrus will hit with Lightning. Therion can do his own thing. Yeah, so me Or I could just be play it safe and just use the fucking item and break him normally as opposed to doing all this weird shit that may or may not pay off. Yeah, let's just do that instead of being an idiot. I think that will pay off so much better. Okay. Next turn, Therion can do it a maxed out. Yes, things, things are actually ahead for once. Shit, can't do that. Okay. Right? Do I need to do anything else? No, he's already broken. Yeah, it's too bad he doesn't use fucking melee, except almost never. So he has to use nothing really, because he has to he only has 30, so maybe Therion will feed him next turn. Because I think Leg Hole Trap ran out. What is it? No, not wind. Thunder. Take this. Damn, a free 5,000. Okay. The battle is truly I always see Brand's Thunder grayed out, and I'm like, I can't use it. What am I thinking? What am I talking about? Now, let's get the hit in. Right? And then he has to leg hold trap him next turn. How much is... Oh, fuck, I don't know how much leg hold is. But he'll... Okay, I'll have him share it next turn. So this turn he can attack again. With, with uh... Swords. Oh, that did nothing. That was a waste. Should have just had him use fucking an item. Oh, shit. It's not good. Okay. Out of my way. So I need him to share with Ulrich. Cyrus can't hit this. So, oh, he's, he's red. Okay, just hang in there. We're good. Hang ten. He needs to not fuck this up. He really needs to not. No, he has to leg trap this turn. I'm fucked. Okay, whatever. And snare them! Yes, too. There's no choice in that matter. I'll do my best. And because he has no BP, okay. So what I'll do for her is we'll use another energizing pomegranate on him. How about you? Because he's gonna. We need to break him within these next two turns. This shit misses way too much, man. Fuck. He's gonna get to move, so I have to overboost myself. Uh, we'll use a soul stone. Take this. He might use one of these turns to debuff us, in which case we're still in a good position. All right, same as with him. A gift for. A gift! Merry Christmas, Ramu! Okay. As long as we play this safe, we should be good. Yeah, he's gonna use this bullshit. And he's, he's, yeah, they're they're fair with that. I'll, I'll concede that. They're fair. Alright, one more so Cyrus doesn't die. As, I, as you can see, I'm not concerned with Ophelia's SP at all. Whatever, use them all. It's not like I can't get more of them. They're there for a reason, so I might as well use them. See, what sucks is I, I basically wasted a turn. Because he's also not like hold. As long as this doesn't miss, we're good. Okay. That was a little bit of a risk. I don't know what the chance of that missing is, but... Now, obviously, for him, we put up Armor Corrosive. Oh, fuck! He can't... He... Oh, no! Fuck me, man! He can't... 
I, I was I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. We'll use cross strike. We'll use cross strike this time. Shit, that was dumb of me. A gift for A gift. And we're over boosted, right? Okay, we are. So, rather than have her use a dancer ability, I'd rather have her just use one of these things. Jesus, okay. That's a nice effect. Yep, shift. As you can see, that's a pretty rough attack, all things considered. So, Ulbrich cannot hit anything, but he has to leg hold him. Thankfully, I saved enough SP to do that. Instead of... Really? Obviously, he has to keep attacking. I'm gonna have her use a SP restorative on old brick. Just because I know next time I won't waste Brand's Thunder or some dumb shit like that. He has to keep using Steel SP. The battle is truly joined. This turn, he might as well use an item. Right? Because she has to overheal us. Yeah, no. I'm... <sighs> He's going to get to move. Unless I have her attack, but I don't want to risk it. Because I know I can survive whatever double attacks he throws my way. So maybe what I'll have him do is I will have him... See, if Cyrus dies, is that... Yeah, that would be bad because we're about to deal a lot of damage to this dude. So maybe what I'll do is a healing grape heals, what, 500? Use this. I think. Yeah, so 500. Now I'll overheal him. As much as possible. Bring about a miracle of healing. There we go. Might as well have him brave just a little here. He's gonna use something here. Oh yeah, element. Oh! Okay, well, I mean, that's not awful by any measure. It's just not helpful, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. So I might as well have her attack. And that way he can double attack with his steel. Okay, Armor Corrosive's in play. Uh, I'm gonna have Ulbrich just do a normal cross strike. And then I'll have Cyrus feed him a, a, a point of BP. Which will, where is it, donate? Yeah, donate. Uh, Cyrus feed him BP, so next turn he can use a fully charged uh, Brand's Thunder. Obviously for him. Attack with that. Therion will overboost himself. Now, is there anything I need to do for this guy? No, he still has light hold, so that's fine. I appreciate He's dead! We did it! Good shit. We did it. It only took me like 40 minutes. Wow. Wow. That was fucking strategic as all hell. Unto thee who has proven thy worth, I impart the lost secrets of the heavens. Wow. That was a fuck ton of work just to kill him. But it worked. We were always safe. I'm teleporting out of here. Fuck this place. I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. I'm not... I, I'm not playing with that. I'm not even gonna take the chance I go into a random encounter and die. Forget that. I'm saving. Save, save, save. Shit, man. That was tough. But it wor it's worth it. What did I get? I got Archmanges, I think it was, right? 
with all his abilities, including elemental break. Deals, yeah, it's perfect. Unleash a powerful staff attack to a single foe that also reduces the target's elemental defense for two turns. This shit is fucking amazing. Wow. That's great. You want to know what the problem is? It makes Cyrus completely useless because he can only hit twice with two elements as opposed to three times with all six. So it technically has made Cyrus a worthless character, which is unfortunate because I like Cyrus a lot. So what am I going to do? I have to re-equip over it because I just wanted to see what was going on with it. That's nice. Really appreciate that one, dog. Alright, well, we might as well save up, or we'll rest up as it would be. So basically, they make Cyrus a completely worthless character. Like, yeah, he might have Analyze, but being, a, like, being able to hit any weakness is way too good, unfortunately. Like, there's no point in me putting it on him. I might as well put, put it on someone else, which means I almost might as well finish off someone else's Chapter 4. Or I'll finish off his Chapter 4, which is only, what, 45? Yeah, I think all the Chapter 4s are 45. So you know what? I'm going to take a three-minute break. I'm going to be right back. Obviously, I'm going to cut the video here anyway. But when I come back without knocking my phone onto my keyboard... I will continue on and do these couple of chapters here.